best friends. That's common knowledge. So we're not really surprised when we see dogs on the street. But hold that thought for a moment, because we're about to show you some of the most unusual and rare dogs that you'll ever see. If you guys like at least one of those doggies, don't forget to press the like button, alright? According to the Book of Guinness World Records, the biggest dog in the world happens to be the English Mastiff by the name Hercules. This dog weighs 128 kilos and its neck is freakishly massive. This goodly buddy belongs to Joe Flynn. Just look at it, it's insane how brutal it looks, right? Although Joe says that his butt is totally peaceful. By the way, Hercules is 100% organic, though he looks as if it was raised on some heavy steroids. The key is fresh air, regular strolls, healthy diet and his owner's pure, modest, beautiful love. By the way, not so long ago, the internet exploded with photos of some unbelievably tall mastiff. It's as high as a horse. And while people are still looking for this monster, it remains unclear whether or not this thing is real. So until we know for sure, Hercules remains a winner. Despite its super large size, Hercules is not the tallest dog in the world, because the tallest dog's name is Gibson, and he's a Great Dane, he lives in California. It's incredible, but he is 108 centimeters at the withers, and when it stands on its hind legs, it makes even the tallest of men look pretty small, because this way he'll be 203 centimeters high. Seems a little creepy, kind of like a monster dog thing, but that's far from the truth, because Gibson is very kind and tender. Small dogs are kind of common these days. Dogs such as Yorkshire Terriers and Chihuahuas are so small, people are usually afraid to stomp on them, because that would most probably be lethal. They're very cute and people always go ah oh, when they see them, but this little guy by the name Tootie broke all cuteness records. He lives in Poland. And when he was only 4 months old, his height was only 6 centimeters, and he weighed about 300 grams, which is a lot less than usual chihuahuas. Tootie is real healthy by the way, there's nothing wrong with him. Now, this isn't official, but apparently Maggie was the oldest Australian cattle dog. He died in 2016 at the age of 34, which is about 200 years if you count in human years. Unfortunately, the owner, a guy by the name McLaren, who happens to be the owner, lost his dog's birth certificate. But after a thorough veterinary examination, the age was confirmed. Maggie was an active dog till his last day. According to the Book of Guinness World Records, Jesse is the cleverest dog in the world. Jesse is a Jack Russell Terrier. He helps a lot with cleaning by running the vacuum cleaner and washing floors. Jesse even knows how to do shopping, how to open doors and get the mail. Yeah, I guess this dog does more cleaning than most people. Jesse has his own YouTube channel, by the way, with quite a few subscribers. I wouldn't be surprised to know that he edits his own videos. Tibetan Mastiff is the world's most expensive breed, without a doubt. They sort of look like bears rather than dogs. It's a very rare and beautiful breed. Reportedly, the most expensive Tibetan Mastiff is a guy by the name Hong Dong. Some Chinese millionaire bought that guy for $1,500,000 when the bot was only 11 months old. Not only Hong Dong is a rare breed, but he actually has a very distinctive and unique color. And by the way, it's the color that makes it so unbelievably expensive. Okay, let's talk about a few more unusual dogs. I don't know if you guys ever heard about Slocky, but those look kinda wacky. These are hunting dogs, and they are unbelievably fast. They're very loyal and gracious, and are quite shy. Sicilian Greyhound looks sorta strange, if you ask me. They are like big versions of rats, and because of their proportions, they're incredibly fast. And though they may seem a little stiff, they are actually very kind and love to cuddle. When you look at Bergamo Shepherd, you can't figure out what's hidden underneath many layers of funny looking fleece. It's like this dog is made of dreadlocks. It protects other dogs from cold. Bergamo Shepherds are very clever and is especially good at herding up in the mountains. Alright, and so lastly, let's have a look at some of the dogs that look a lot like humans. Brussels Griffins are some of the rarest breeds of small dogs in the world. After the Second World War, almost none of them were left. Back in the olden days, people used these bearded fellas to catch rats and